It is once again time for our football frenzy. We have crews covering games all over West Michigan. One of our big spotlight games tonight is in Coopersville, and that's where we find Alec Janikopoulos with a preview of what's happening there. Alec? The season is just flying by. Already here we are in week three, and already we're in some conference play here in West Michigan. And before you know it, we'll be in these stands huddled up in blankets and parkas. But before then, we have some great weather and an even better matchup in the OK Blue. Coopersville and West Catholic, two teams that are favored to take away this conference, especially West Catholic, who's been on top so far throughout this year, defending state champions, and so far have a margin of victory of a combined 82 points in their their first two games this season. The Broncos were on the upswing, though. They were looking for their fourth straight playoff appearance with two dominant showings in the non-conference stretch. The matchup between these two teams has been in West Catholic's favor. The Falcons have outscored the Broncos by nearly 300 points in their matchups, with the Broncos only winning in 2019 since 2000. West Catholic did shut Coopersville out last year, but it's going to be hard to repeat against their offense that have combined for 87 points in in two contests alone. That's one of our three spotlight games coming your way tonight. We also are featuring Lowell taking on East Grand Rapids and Reese Puffer at Mona Shores. Those are three of our 21 games you can expect tonight on the football frenzy. And later on in sports, we hear from West Catholic coach Landon Grove on how they've been able to pick up after losing some key players in their state championship run. Reporting from Coopersville, I'm Alec Janikopoulos, News 8.